What's up, guys? It's pretty much a sad day for me. You know, breaking up is hard to do. You know, especially when you know it's over. There's really nothing more you can say. There's really nothing more you can do. You just know that for all intents and purposes, you know the relationship is over. And by that I mean my relationship with Diamond Select Toys, Marvel Select. It's been, I don't know, early to mid 2000s that I started collecting these guys and there have been a lot of misses, but there's been a lot of home runs too. But, um, you know, as more companies are stepping their product up and, you know, the articulation, paint apps, you know, the amount of figures that are coming out within a wave, sometimes it's just, you know, you have to see the writing on the wall, no matter how much you, you, you love a company sometimes you have to say you know what you know at the price point there are better figures that come out that you know are in scale or have good paint apps you know if you guys have been watching my videos I hate or hated Hasbro Mattel that's why I only collected DC Direct, DC Collectibles, and Marvel Select. Because they are for the adult collector. But that's not the case anymore. You know, there's companies like NECA now that are stepping their game up. Companies like Hasbro, regrettably, they're stepping their game up. You know, you got the overseas companies, you got figure arts, and you got Figma. I mean, when those companies bring out a wave of figures, you know, they don't miss out on much. Like, for instance, how long did it take Marvel Select to finally get all the Avengers put together? I mean, we still don't have a Sam Jackson Nick Fury, but that's neither here nor there. How long did we have to wait for ScarJo? How many movies came out before we got ScarJo? We still don't have an unmasked Tony Stark, Robbie Downey Jr. head sculpt that's actually made by the company, not, you know, bootleg. That bootleg is actually kind of good anyway. But, um, it's, it's kind of sad that a company of Marvel, Diamond Select, they make great figs, but, I don't know, it's, uh, lately it's just been hit or miss. I mean, lately it's been a mixed bag. And it all started with my review of this guy I couldn't wait for this Iron Man then when I get him out of package you know he's not in scale and you're thinking you know almost at, at almost $30 it's $24.99 plus tax and, you know I live in New York so you know the taxes are high so you're looking at upwards of almost $30 is it worth it? Is this fig almost worth $30? I don't know. I don't know. You, you guys be the judge. But I started this off by saying, you know, breaking up is hard to do because it is. And I, But I'm looking at the writing on the wall and, I'm, and I know it's over. I don't think for right now, I don't think I'll be collecting 
any more Marvel Select figs. And that, that, that freaking hurts me to say. You know, it's... It's hard, man. Like, it is. It's hard when you know that, man, this is... You know, you, you they bring out a guy like Carnage and Venom and knock it out of the park. But then there's, you know, other figs that just don't hit. And then there's other figs that we're still waiting on. I don't know. I don't want to make this sound like I'm bashing. Diamond Select toys or Marvel Select because they do have great figs, you know, in their scale. But there are other companies that are doing things better. You know, for whatever reason, they can't produce any more X Men figs. Like, if you're in New York City and you go to um, Midtown Comics, you go to the one in uh, in Times Square. All their Marvel Select toys are on, on pegs they're just peg warmers because no one's going to buy those old x-men figures that you can't even move the hips like it doesn't make sense these are action figures you're supposed to have action poses but they can't do that for you know a numerous degrees licensing and all of that nonsense but um and i don't mean to belittle that that's the license that they have but it's just you know at this price point i mean i'd rather spend the money to have you know a figure that can be articulated a figure that has great paint apps and if you gotta you have to spend a little bit more hey so be it I'd rather do that than spend almost $30 on this fig, which is which has great paint apps, but, you know, he's barely taller than Black Widow, like, barely, but, um, I think I think I'm pretty much done with Marvel Select. I'm not sure. I mean, I am sure where where I'm going next, but um, I don't know, guys. You you guys, let me know. We can start a discussion about it. Um, I just posted in the the Marvel Select uh, Facebook uh, group. I mean, if you think about it, the group is dead because there's nothing to talk about. Th that's the point. That's the whole point right now. You go to the group. What is there to talk about? Only time there's any news is when they announce a new figure, which is months in between. You know, the other guys, the competition, you know, they release prototypes, they release, you know, unpainted sculpts, you know, so their consumer base knows what's coming in the next six to eight months or for the next year. Like, I, I don't know, guys. Like, it just pains me that we, like, this great, this great, great company. For whatever reason, their their Marvel line is just slacking. Like they brought out Ghostbusters, you see all the figures that are coming out within that within that line, and it's like wow. But Marvel, for whatever reason, they can't. But um, I know those guys over there; they do a good job, and I'm not bashing them. I'm just. Like earlier this year and the end of last year, we got a couple of great scopes. You know, that, that cap, 
walk guy, a couple of other guys, but we, we just, I don't know, they, you know, we have to wait a, a year, and they, they've said multiple times, they're not a, a team building line, which is crazy. They had the Disney license. They brought out one multi-pack since they had that Disney license. One. And those figures weren't new sculpts. Like, the one and only four pack they brought out were old sculpts. The, the Venom, the Venom and Carnage figs, big hits. This latest Spider-Man, semi-good fig. Yeah, I did a little head swap with the movie uh, Amazing Spider-Man fig because I hated the head sculpt that came with this fig. But um, the, there isn't even news for a black suit Spider-Man. Like, I, I guess we have to wait a year, two years for that fig. Even though they know it'll sell, but, but that's what I mean, guys. I mean, why... Why wait when there's other companies out there willing to bring out the fig? And you can get it when you want to. Now you got to deal with scalpers and all that. But, you know, you have to deal with that everywhere. But, um, Marvel Select, guys, I, I, you know, I wish you guys the best. I hope you guys can, you know, maybe figure out and redo your license. Maybe if it's, if it's worth it to you. Or is, you know, Marvel Select just a boutique sort of line? You know, you bring out nine figures a year. Okay. You know, it's just, it's just sad, man. Like, I really, I really dedicated time to this line and I loved it. But, um, other companies are stepping their game up, man. And these guys aren't. Well, guys, let's have a discussion about it. Let me know what you think. We can argue. But. Might be time to say goodbye, guys. Alright. Peace.